Uh, what is going on guys today i'm bringing you another video on amazon ppc optimization so if you've been running campaigns up until now right uh, you might have a lot of keywords that are somewhere lurking inside your campaign right but here is the catch they are probably not driving any results and the reason for that is that a lot of those keywords that you are allegedly targeting they have their bids set too low to the point where they can't generate any traction or you know uh, get the visibility that they deserve on the platform because the bids are set too low so you are not competitive uh, to other advertisers right in the amazon ppc ad auction because amazon ppc is really it's just the bidding system it's a, an auction bidding system so the uh, higher your bid the more likely you are to win that ad auction and then your ad will be served to you know, customers who are searching up those specific keywords that you are targeting in your Amazon PPC campaigns. So I'll dive straight into the, this uh, strategy and show you how we can identify these underperforming keywords and then capitalize on their maximum potential by raising bids, right? Probably right now your visibility is hindered and you know, the growth is very limited and the reach obviously is not the to the extent that you want it to be so let's actually fix that very quickly okay so you all you have to do is come to your advertising dashboard then click on this icon okay we're gonna open up the bulk operations so just you know open this up right now uh, you need to select the last 30 days because we need to extract a big chunk of data and you know 30 days should be a sufficient amount of data to discover all of those underperforming keywords right so let's select 30 days right now you need to adjust these settings so uh what we're gonna do is actually untick sponsor produce search term data we don't need that as well as uh sponsor brands search term data uh that's not required as well uh guidance we can uncheck that and then um, everything else seems to be good to go all right and then yeah one more thing you need to do is don't forget to uh check this option to see campaigns with zero impressions right so you might miss on a lot of different keywords that haven't generated any impressions if you miss uh to select this uh option right so make sure that it's ticked uh because you know that's the whole purpose of this exercise to find keywords that don't have a lot of impressions all right once you uh you know adjusted the settings all you need to do is hit uh this button read the spreadsheet for download right and now it's going to take a bit of time i actually pulled up uh the same report for the same uh range before as you can see so i'm gonna download this instead right then what you can do is open it up in an Excel sheet or you can upload it uh, to Google Drive and then open it in uh, Google Sheets, uh, which I'm gonna do right now. So yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, so once you are in uh, your Google uh, Drive, you can just take this file, right? And just drag it somewhere right here. All right, so there it is, there it is. Let's open it up. And now I'll just walk you through this uh, process to find this uh, underperforming uh, keywords. So, okay, you can want to go to sponsor products campaign sheet, uh, then click on sort uh, this like funnel icon to you know uh, apply filters all right now come here where you see entity okay click on the entity column uh, delete like unselect everything and only choose product targeting and keyword and then hit okay now the whole uh, data is sorted okay what we want to do is come now over here uh, to the impressions column click on this funnel again icon to sort the data all right, click on uh, filter by conditions and then select uh, less than 300 and then type in 300. So punch 300 uh, and we will basically focus on all keywords that have 
generated less than 300 uh, impressions within this uh, within the last 30 days so within this time period it has got uh, less than 300 impressions right now as you can see there are a lot of keywords so we can just check what is the amount of keywords we've got here basically we have around let's see we got around yeah 102 keywords so that's a lot of keywords what we are gonna do is actually insert the new column so come over here and then click uh, you know the right button and then you click uh, insert one column to the right side uh, now we want to rename this uh, old column right for, uh, to all bid right so all bid and then you uh, call it this new column uh, just you just type in bit right right now what we're gonna do is use this formula we are going to uh, type in equal sign click on this uh, number right and then we're gonna have the asterisk so type in the asterisk which uh, stands for the multiplication uh, action in the math right and then we type in 1.1 or you can do 1.2 it's really, uh, if you want to be more conservative, you can just uh, multiply this number by 10%. What we are essentially doing is we want to boost bids on these underperforming keywords to make sure that they are uh, driving or delivering for impressions, right? So that's essentially what is the purpose of this, uh, of this action. So let's do 1.1 uh, just to start off. Okay, click on this dot, yeah. And you'll see that, okay, and now what happened essentially is that all of these uh, keywords have actually, it, it, the same formula has been applied to all, all rows, right? So you don't need to like go and repeat the same action for every single row because it would take a lot of time. So now the same formula has been applied to all keywords. And, you know, when we upload this uh, file back to Amazon, like uh, to the advertising console, all of these uh, bids will be changed for these keywords, right? So that's essentially going to help you drive more uh, traffic to your listing from these keywords because what we are doing, we are, uh, you know, capitalizing on their opportunity to capture more impressions, right? And we are driving more visibility for these keywords. So yeah, that's how you can improve and increase the keyword coverage within your Amazon PPC advertising, you know, is by just, you know, looking at these keywords, uh, finding them, first of all, you want to identify these keywords that have barely any impressions, and then you need to raise bids, right? Now I'll touch on one issue that might not be uh, due to your bids, the reason why you are not showing or not generating impressions, it's not due to bids, it's because of your campaign structure so let's uh, touch on that uh, briefly now hey right, guys uh, so all you need to do is uh, remove the filters okay so click on this funnel icon again and now I'll uh, basically show you show you how to check if you have the right uh, Amazon PPC structure so remove all the filters click on this funnel click on entity remove these filters and select keyword and product targeting now we want to only uh, filter down to one campaign so let's select a random campaign. Let's say it's this one. Okay, in this case, you see I have uh, five rows, which is okay. So that means basically within this particular campaign that I'm looking at, I am only targeting five keywords, right? And it's very important. This is imperative uh, for you to uh, get this concept right off the bat. So uh, we want to only target uh, around five uh, targets up to five product targets or keywords within the same campaign if we throw in and lump too many uh, targets or keywords uh, within the same campaign what is going to happen is no matter how uh, big the bid is set for that keyword we will still not deliver any impressions right so this is something we need to really keep in mind and consider so now go you know that what you can do is uh, basically drill down to each campaign and check 
uh, how many keywords or product ASINs you are targeting within that campaign. And if there are a lot of like a ton of keywords, you want to break those keywords uh, into separate campaigns and only keep around five, uh, five keywords per one campaign. So that would be my uh, tip for you to avoid these, you know, issues and make sure that all keywords are delivering impressions. You are getting the uh, visibility, the maximum visibility on the platform for those all targets, right? Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, when you update this uh, bits, the last tip is just to, you know, uh, remove this filter again, again. So let's select all campaigns. Let's select all campaigns and then, yeah, what you're gonna do is uh, sort to impressions less than 300. Yeah, as you can see, all of these bits have been changed for our keywords. But the last tip we need to do is just come over here to the operations column. And under this operation column, you want to uh, type in update and then click on this dot. Okay, sometimes it's not working. So what you want to do is just drag this all the way to the bottom, to the last row. There we go. Okay. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want uh, uh, the machine to check for any uh, changes we did, uh, we made in these rows. If we neglect the step and miss out on this step, uh, basically uh, the changes will not take effect on your uh, on your account, on your uh, like advertising campaigns. So this is something really, really important. Make sure to go ahead and uh, specify the operation, like what action you want to perform. And yeah, that's it. You click file, download. You can download this as a CSV or Excel. And yeah, and then you come back to your advertising dashboard. And then what you do is basically click on uh, this shoes file and you like upload the file, right? So let me find this. Can't think that's the right file. Open it. Yeah, and then you just hit this button, upload to process changes. All these changes will be immediately made on your account. And yeah, that's basically what you can do, uh, you know, to increase uh, your sales drastically with this keyword coverage trick. So I hope that this was valuable for you guys. Let me know uh, what kind of videos or any other Amazon PPC strategies you would like to see. So just comment right below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support guys to help me, you know, grow my YouTube channel. And yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video as always. So peace.